So this is a pretty nice set of metric taps Jim sent and uh, we uh, opened them up here. So this is a these are 10 millimeter by 1.5 and then nines, eights, seven, six, fives, four, or uh, no, I'm sorry, these are 5.5s, five, 4.5, four, five, four 3.5, these are threes, three millimeter, then uh, 2.6 millimeter, 2.5 millimeters, 2.3 millimeters, 2.2 millimeters, and 2 millimeter. So these are all, uh, the, each pair is the same pitch. And, um, you know, the, those are uh, one and a half. You know, they're all different pitches here. Uh, those are ones. These are ones. One and a quarters. You know, on down here. Thank you. This is a really good uh, good set to have here for me. And uh, thank you again, Jim, uh, for sending these on. These will uh, definitely be used here in the shop. And we have uh, Gary Coot up here, Tools for Machine, from Downs, Texas. And along with uh, Bruce Whittem from uh, Australia. And I got a bunch of others up there. Of course, we got Emma up there at the top. We have the old man's shop going. I even got a shirt on today, Chris. Welding tips and tricks, Jody, uh, et cetera, et cetera, here so far. So a uh, lot of new stickers up here, even on uh, Maple Lane, uh, machine and tool. Uh, Brad there, Jacob. So, uh, thank you guys for the stickers. Just finished uh, mounting this Kennedy box uh, below my surface plate. A little dusty there. Made a quick little tubing frame so I can hold a uh, surface plate and surface grinder kind of tooling. Some gauge balls and Set up disc and indicators, uh, diamonds for grinding wheels, dressers, dressers, sign bar levels. And I have a couple matched V blocks. Uh, those are brown and sharps, and some suburban tool sign sign plate for the surface grinder. A nice Herman Schmidt machinist vice, and then a sign machinist vice, a suburban tool one. Some Magnetic transfer blocks, a few other things. This you can mount in a spin dexter for the surface grinder for pin grinding for small stuff. And then mount that in a collet or on a spin dex type setup. Nice wheel dresser that IL Gopher Ryan Wachilla made for me. Very nice. Works really well. And a couple of magnetic transfer box. EJ Ashbury sent me that. It's very nice. Thank you, EJ. Actually, he gave it to me at the bash. So I like this uh, setup. It came out uh, really well. Nice candy box. I picked this up. It's basically brand new except for some holes drilled in the bottom and the top that was mounted somewhere. But it's basically brand new. I also picked up another. Uh, Kennedy box, small one, two drawer, and I just uh, set it here on the end of the lathe. Uh, you know, with that stuff I use all the time right here, the mills right here. So, you know, a micrometers, one and two inch uh, test indicator, dial indicator setups, dial indicator, a little no go. I use on the mill all the time. Flashlight, and we have some. Uh, Calipers, depth gauge. Actually, I use this quite a bit. Actually, this here one, this is a federal one. I picked this up from James Green at the Bash a couple years ago. Uh, nice box. Actually, works really well. That uh, comes in pretty handy. And I got some uh, boring bars and stuff sitting in there. And some measure more measuring tools, uh, telescopic gauges, uh, scales. Uh, my diamond files and subscribe and marking tools. 
but I'll put some more stuff in here probably. But it's kind of handy having it right here on the end of the box, uh, keep things kind of neat and clean. Of course, you'll see the mess here still, but that will get uh, squared away or moved. Pretty happy with that. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. It's cold out here. It's butt cold out here. Yeah. This is the new differential for the Toyota. <sighs> Who made this, Trev? These this guys. is by Rough Stuff. Yeah. It's kind of a kit thing. <laughs> it's all tore apart. He already put in the front box, gearbox set up, and now the rear end. Roscoe and his best bud, Buddha. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's the end of that. <laughs> well, we got half of a Toyota driveline in here. And all the mods my son's doing, he needs a different end on there. So we're going to cut this off. He's ordered a new one. And we'll put it in and then we'll take it to somebody, probably have them balance it. But we'll, we might just balance it on our on the wheels ourselves, but uh, probably take it to somebody, have them dynamically balance it. But we can do the, we can remove it and all that stuff. It's not a big deal. So we got to sit up here at steady rest. And we're just slowly uh, cutting this off. cut down until I kind of saw the remnants of a possible line and then I started tapping on it here and it broke right off and it's just coming out. It's almost out. There we go, just we just knocked it out. Not too big a deal.